Hello, I'm John Johnson, and thank you for joining us for another edition of Beyond Katrina. Many of your favorite shows on MPB have pooled talent and resources to bring you this series, a look at where we go from here in the wake of one of the nation's worst natural disasters. For many, the next step of the journey is to repair a damaged roof. More than 60,000 rolls of blue tarp material were used to cover over 48,000 Mississippi homes. Progress to replace those tarps has been slow. Scott Phillips of MPV News has the story. As you walk along the streets of many towns along the Mississippi Gulf Coast, you'll notice an underlying theme, the color blue. That's because many of the tarps that were put in place by FEMA right after the storm are still in place six months after the storm came ashore on August 29th. Operation Blue Roof is a, a FEMA program that is assigned to the Corps of Engineers. It happens on every hurricane, every disaster, typically a hurricane or a tornado or whatever that uh, FEMA gets a mission assignment. And it's essentially a temporary solution for folks until they can get a permanent roof over their head. As you can see, I didn't have very much damage in the front because I didn't have any trees. Now when we get around to the back, you're going you're gonna to see more damage. Uh, I lost all my back porch all the way across. Uh, I did lose all my, sh my shingles, or 75% or of them. Uh, of course, it's a brick home, so I didn't have any, any damage other than my roof to my home. I, I guess the most important thing to a person besides your life is your home. We've put on roughly 50,000 blue roofs, uh, and that mission went on from literally days after Katrina, and we put our last blue roof on 18 December. So we're talking essentially four months. Even though FEMA warned that the blue roof program was a short-term solution, some feel that homeowners are not getting repairs done fast enough. First of all, there's a lot of blue roofs around here, so we got a lot of work to do. Some of them are just waiting to get their settlement from the insurance companies. Some are, are still shopping around for a more reasonable price. Some folks didn't have insurance uh, and certainly got a little pricier for those that got to come pay for that right out of their own pocket. And we still have people just oscillating, not sure what they want to do. So I think it's just a, uh, a matter of, of so many other things they're having to take care of in their uh, family and personal life that's prolonging that process. The roofs now would have to be constructed in new roof construction in, in accordance with whatever the prevailing building code standard is in place currently in that community. And to, to the extent a new roof would be put on in the future if more stringent standards are adopted, those roofs would then have to, to meet those standards as well. While many of the roofs are functional, a small fraction are in disrepair. These are the two different types of tarps that FEMA has released. One is reinforced. It's got a small string lining in it. The other was found on the ground near someone's home whose tarp is falling apart. As you can see, it's not much thicker than a heavy duty trash bag. And now, there were some rolls that were not, just the way they bought it from the manufacturer. 98% of the plastic we installed were reinforced blue plastic. We say it's good for 30 days. Of the 50,000 blue roofs, we probably had less than 500 or so redos, or we went out and did it. It's held up quite well. It still uh, feels a little damp in there when it rains, but it's a heck of a lot better than, than just rain just pouring right on through. I think progress is being made every day, but it's not quick enough if you're the one person who still uh, have, has half your roof covered by a blue tarp. It's just a waiting process, more or less. Of, of, uh, I could probably done had a roof on some of these outside people coming by, but I want to use people in the city of Wigan. Some people are shopping around for the best price, others are waiting for financial assistance to come in from the federal government or their insurance company. But whatever reason people have for holding off on getting their roofs repaired, they're convinced that everything is going to be okay. For Beyond Katrina, I'm Scott Phillips.